All right. Welcome to All Life Maths TV. My name is Jake's Animal. This is a channel where you learn mathematics every day. In other words, we drop new videos every day in the channel. Okay. And any of the days I fail to drop a new video, expect to the next day. All right. So here we have a challenge. But before we go into today's challenge, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe. And when you subscribe, turn on the bell notification button. The question says, bracket open x minus 1, close bracket, bracket open x plus 2, close bracket, open bracket x minus 2, close bracket, open bracket x plus 4, close bracket, plus 6 or equal to 0. What there will be the value of x? What there will be the value of x? Let's take our solution, the solution to this question, which says we have here x minus 1, close bracket, bracket open, x plus 3, close bracket, bracket open, x minus 2, close bracket, bracket open, x plus 4, or equal to 0. Okay, if you look at this, if we are to open up everything here, we are going to have the highest power of x to be 4. In other words, we are expected to get 4 root to this um, equation. Okay, so how do we now handle this? Let's use this to open this. In other words, the first two, let's open them separately. Then this one, we put the next two separately. What am I trying to bring out here? Let's open this separately. We also open this separately. Okay. If we do that, this will give us x times x will give us x squared. x times plus 3 will give us plus 3x. We come to this minus 1. Minus 1 times x will give us minus x. Minus 1 times plus 3 will give us minus 3. We're done with everything in here now. We come to the second one here. There we have here. Let's put this in bracket. So we have this to be x times x will give us x squared. Then plus x times 4 will give us 4x. Then minus 2 times x will give us minus 2x. Minus 2 times my plus 4 will give us minus 8. Okay, everything okay. Plus six, or oh, please, pardon me. Here we have plus six equal to zero. So here we have plus six equal to zero. Okay. All right, all right. So from here we look. Hmm. Let's simplify what we have inside here. So we have this to be x squared plus. 2x because plus 3x minus x will give us plus 2x minus 3 close bracket bracket x squared plus 4x minus 2x will give us plus 2x minus 8 bracket epic close writer plus 6 equal to 0. Okay, if you watch carefully, we're having x squared plus 2x. We have the x squared plus 2x. So we can bring in another letter to represent this first two expression. So from here we can now say, we we'll say let uh, let uh, let's use um, y as let y equal to your x squared plus 2x. So if we do that, this expression now will now become y. Okay bracket minus 3 close bracket bracket here we're going to have y minus 8 close bracket also plus 6 or equal to 0 <laughs> very easy okay now from here we can open this bracket here now so yeah let's say open bracket open brackets if we open these brackets here will give us y squared minus y times 8 minus 8y, eight the minus 3 times y will give us minus 3y, the minus 3 times minus 8 will give us plus 24, plus 6 or equal to 0. Okay, let's rule off this. Okay, so from here, let's continue on this other side. Okay, so if we are to continue on this other side, we look again. We can add this to give us here. We're going to have this to be y squared minus 8y minus 3y will give us 
minus 11y. Minus 11y. Here we have 24 plus 6 to give us 30. So we have here plus 30 or equal to 0. All right. So yeah, we solve quadratically. Very easy. So let's say solve quadratically. Solve quadratically. Okay. Solve quadratically. All we need to do is to look for a number that when we multiply together, we give us plus 30, added together, we give us minus 11. The two numbers will give us 5 and 6. Okay? So it's going to be minus 5, minus 6. So we can equally pull down here y bracket minus um, 5, close bracket, bracket, y minus 6. Everything will give us zero simple <laughs> simple all right so if we do this from here using the zero product property or rules we're going to have this y minus five equal to zero or y minus six equal to zero so therefore our y equal to five or y equal to positive six these are the two values for our y but mind you in the initial equation we don't have y we have x so we now recall or we go to where we said let y equal to x squared plus 2x so from here we now go back and say recall recall that we said y equal to x right um we'll say x square so y is equals x square plus 2 x so we look at case one so case one case one where we have our y to be five case one says y is equal to five so let's put in five here so when i have here five equal to x squared plus two x if you collect light terms and rearrange we're going to have here x squared plus two x minus five equal to zero this is another quadratic equation so we solve quadratically for x here now okay so we now say solve quadratically solve quadratically again okay now if you look at this we cannot use factorization method so we succumb to um the formula method of solving your quadratic challenges so let's erase this and continue on this side. All right. So to solve quadratically, we now bring our formula. So from here, using the quadratic formula, x will now be your um, minus b plus minus the square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay. What is our a, b, c from... Uh, this equation. So we have here a is equal to the coefficient of x squared, which is 1. b is the coefficient of x, which is 2. And c is the constant term, which is minus 5. So let's go ahead and put these values into this expression. So we're going to have here x is equal to minus bracket 2, close bracket, plus minus the square root of 2 squared minus 4 into what is our a? a is 1, bracket, bracket. What is our c? Minus 5, close bracket. All over 2 into 1. All right. So from here, let's simplify and see what this gives us. So we're going to have this to be minus 2 plus minus the square root of 4. The dx will give us plus because minus times plus, sorry, minus times minus will give us plus. 4 times 1 times 5 will give us 20. So we have here 20 all over 2. We simplify for that. This will give us minus 2 plus minus 24 all over 2. Okay. Now we can simplify uh, 24. 24 can be simplified as 4 times 6. Okay? So, according to the uh, uh, law of sort, 
so let's write this down first so we have here minus 2 plus minus the square root of 4 times 6 because 4 is a perfect square all right so all over 2 and if we apply sort here we're going to have this to be minus 2 plus minus 2 square root of 6 all over 2 very easy now let me show you what actually happened here okay let me erase this and show you what i did in the uh, space there okay under your 24 look at what i did yeah we said 24 can be written as 24 can be written as root um four times six and we can simplify this to give us here root four times root six according to the law of sort and root four is two so this will give us two root six very easy that is what i did in here now okay now we are having two here we are having two here we are having two here so we can factor out two if we factor out two from this expression then your answer or this will that give us here um this is equal to your two bracket minus one plus minus one root six close bracket all over two and so this denominator can go with this numerator so therefore our x is equal to the first one is going to give us minus one plus minus the square root of six now if you look at this we have two roots from here one is going to give us minus one plus root six and the second one is minus one minus root six okay now we go to case two case two case two where we have our uh, y equal to uh, six is two where we have our y equal to six okay so we bring back our expression again we say that y uh, y equal to your x squared minus sorry plus two x okay so we put in six in place of y so we have six equals to x squared plus two x collecting lightens or rearranging this will give us here x squared plus 2x minus 6 equal to 0. Again, this is another quadratic equation. Okay, before we continue, if you are new to this channel, highly subscribe. And when you subscribe, turn on the bell notification button. Okay, so let's go again now. We solve this quadratically using the formula method. So we have this x is equal to your minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a okay because we have known or we have looked at how to bring out the the values of a b c in this first place i will skip that part and go straight to impute our values here so we're going to have here x is equals to minus what is our b our b is 2 so we have here 2 plus minus the square root of 2 squared minus 4 dot dot also means multiplication a here is 1 dot minus 6 all over 2 into 1 dot 1 okay so from here let's proceed for the very last time okay so if we proceed all right all right so from here we proceed backward this will give us here x equal to minus 2 plus minus here the square root of 4 minus times minus will give us plus 4 times 6 will give us 24 all over 
2 times 1, which is 2. So this will now give us here minus 2 plus minus the square root of 28 all over 2. Now, the square root of 28 can be expressed as what? Again, it can be expressed as 7 times 4. So if we go by that, we now have this to be minus 2 plus minus the square root of, um, of 4 times 7 all over 2. Again, 4 is a perfect square. So this will end up giving us minus 2 plus minus uh, 2 root 7. Okay? All over 2. And if you factor out 2, this will end up giving us minus 1 plus minus root 7. This is the second answer. Therefore, what are the four roots or the four solutions to this expression here now? So we can now say, therefore, our x is equal to x1 is equal to, look at our x1. We have minus 1 plus uh, root 6. Okay? x2 x2 is equal to your minus 1 minus root 6. And our x3, okay, let's manage here. x3 is equal to, here, um, we have minus 1 plus root 7. And our x4 is equal to your minus 1 minus root 7. These are the values for this expression we have in here now. If you are getting something special from this um, challenge, give the video a thumbs up, okay? Or you have a better way of solving this uh, with little time, then also drop it in the comment section. Okay, if you love what is happening on this channel, also drop it in the comment section by saying thanks, Jay, okay? Remember, we love you so much because we are always there. We are proud of you. Bye for now.